What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Zile Zhang versus Craig Lewis. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who don't know yet, this fight is scheduled for eight rounds in the heavyweight division to take place this weekend, this Saturday, in the undercard of the Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosos Jr. fight which will be taking place over at the Hulu Theater in uh, Madison Square Garden, USA, to be shown live on The Zone. Uh, last I checked, there are still tickets available, so if you want to go see this fight between Lopez and Cambosos, as well as the fight between Zile Zhang against Craig Lewis, you can go to Ticketmaster.com and buy tickets, or tune into The Zone if you want to see this fight. Uh, before I talk about who I think will win, to those who don't know who Zile Zhang is, he's a 38-year-old fighter from China, now fighting in, uh, out of uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey. 22-0, one draw, 17 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Kind of up there in age now, 38 years old, coming off a draw against Jerry Foster. In my opinion, Foster should have won that fight. Um, if that were, you know, he was just going against the, the A side in Zhang. He was lucky to get a draw in that fight, Zhang. I'll say that. He was very lucky to get a draw. Um... And now here he is trying to rebound against Craig Lewis. Uh, second fight this year. Um, he's actually highly ranked under the sanctioning bodies, if you guys don't know. He's ranked number 13 under the IBF, number 8 under the WBL. So he's up there in the rankings. Uh, if he loses, it would be a big, big setback in Zhang's career if he loses. Uh, his opponent, Craig Lewis, uh, from Detroit, Michigan. 14 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, 8 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He's coming off uh, three losses in a row to Junior Fa, Jermaine Franklin, Carlos Takam. He hasn't fought in more than two years. Um, yeah, Craig Lewis is ain't. He's actually ain't that bad. He, you know, he went the distance against all these fighters. Never been knocked out. Demetrius Banks also went the distance against Demetrius Banks. He's never been knocked out. He's he's a good test for for <laughs> for Zhang. Uh, you know, if if Zhang can't beat Lewis. And if he struggles to beat Lewis, yeah, Zhang's eventually going to get knocked out by, by one of the top 15 guys in the heavyweight division. Um, obviously, I'm leaning towards Zhang in this fight. He is the A-side. He is the main man. Uh, Craig Lewis hasn't fought in more than two years, so I'm not entirely sure how his shape is right now. Um, you know, Zhang at least has been, at least he fought earlier this year. So, I I'm leaning towards Zhang. Um, but with that being said... Man, Zhang just, he, he needs to impress. That's basically what I'm going to say. He needs to impress because he, he lost, a, I'm pretty sure he lost a lot of momentum from that last fight. Um, you know, and I want him to be successful. I'm going to be honest. I want him to be successful because if we have a big Chinese boxer who you know ends up being big here in the U.S., uh, they can influence China into getting more into boxing and well, China will you know become a boxing country. That's my hope. <laughs> but... Uh, Zile Zhang ain't the man, that's for sure. Uh, uh, but I hope he at least gets a title shot eventually. Just so that, you know, boxing... So that more people in China can talk about boxing. That's honestly the only reason why I'm I'm, I'm uh, rooting for, for Zhang. Um, I, I want boxing to be successful in China. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think this fight will most likely go to distance 6 rounds to 2 in favor of Zhang. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.